Verses thirty one to forty of Chitten Chali. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ellie. Chitten Chali by Rabindranath Tagore. Translated by the original author. Verses thirty one to forty. Thirty one prisoner tell me who was it that bound you it was my master said the prisoner i thought i could outdo everybody in the world in wealth and power and i amassed in my own treasure house the money due to my king when sleep overcame me i lay upon the bed it was for my lord and on waking up i found i was a prisoner in my own treasure house prisoner tell me who was it that wrought this unbreakable chain it was i said the prisoner who forged this chain very carefully i thought my invincible power would hold the world captive leaving me in a freedom undisturbed thus night and day i worked the chain with huge fires and cruel hard strokes when at last the work was done and the links were complete and unbreakable i found that it held me in its grip thirty two by all means they try to hold me secure who love me in this world but it is otherwise with thy love which is greater than theirs and thou keepest me free lest i forget them they never venture to leave me alone but day passes after day and thou art not seen if i call not thee in my prayers if i keep not thee in my heart thy love for me still waits for my love thirty three when it was the day they came into my house and said we shall only take the smallest room here they said we shall help you in the worship of your god and humbly accept only our own share in his grace and then they took their seat in a corner and they sat quiet and meek but in the darkness of night i find the break into my sacred shrine strong and turbulent and snatch with unholy greed the offerings from god's altar thirty four let only that little be left of me whereby i may name thee my all let only that little be left of my will whereby i may feel thee on every side and come to thee in everything and offer to thee my love every moment let only that little be left of me whereby i may never hide thee let only that little of my fetters be left whereby i am bound with thy will and thy purpose is carried out in my life, and that is the fetter of thy love. 35. Where the mind is without fear, and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depths of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever winding thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake thirty six this is my prayer to thee my lord strike strike at the root of penury in my heart give me the strength slightly to bear my joys and sorrows give me the strength to make my love fruitful in service give me the strength never to disown the poor or bend my knees before insolent might give me the strength to raise my mind high above daily trifles and give me the strength to surrender my strength to thy will with love thirty seven i thought that my voyage had come to its end at the last limit of my power that the path before me was closed the provisions were exhausted and the time come to take shelter in a silent obscurity but i find that thy will knows no end in me and when old words die out on the tongue new melodies break forth from the heart and where the old tracks are lost new countries revealed with its wonders thirty eight that i want thee only thee let my heart repeat without end all desires that distract me day and night are false and empty to the core as the night keeps hidden in its gloom the petition of light even thus in the depths of my unconsciousness rings the cry 
I want tea, only tea. As the storm still seeks its end in peace, when it strikes against peace with all its might, even thus my rebellion strikes against their love, and still its cry is, I want tea, only tea. When the heart is hard and parched up, come upon me with a shower of mercy. When grace is lost from life, come with a burst of song. When tumultuous work raises its din on all sides, shutting me out from beyond, come to me, my lord of silence, with thy peace and rest. When my beggarly heart sits crouched, shut up in a corner, break open the door-making, and come with the ceremony of a king. When desire blinds the mind with delusion and dust, O oh, thou holy one, thou wakeful, come with thy light and thy thunder. 40. The rain has held back for days and days, my God, in my arid heart. The horizon is fiercely naked, not the thinnest cover of a soft cloud, not the vaguest hint of a distant cool shower. Send thy angry storm, dark with death, if it is thy wish, and with slashes of lightning startle the sky from end to end. But call back, my lord, call back this pervading silent heart, still and keen and cruel, burning the heart with dire despair. Let the cloud of grace bend low from above, like the tearful look of a mother on the day of her father's wrath. End of verses thirty one to forty. Recording by Ellie. November two thousand and nine.